Hello, hello. So I got this switch from uh, Ubiquity. Weird name. It's called Uni Unify Flex XG. It's got five 10 gigabit ports. Uh, one of them is basically just an uplink port to a router, whatever. So we got four ports. You can manage this switch with uh, some Unify software. It's called Unify Network Application. And you can do a bunch of stuff. And I thought I would show you how I installed this on a Linux server. And yeah, I put a link to this page in the video description. It's uh, from Unify, a member of Unify devs or whatever. Um, but it's basically in an installation script. And uh, yeah, a lot of information here. Uh, the important thing at, is at actually the bottom here of the page. And here you can see the version, latest version. Uh, so when I record this video, it, the latest version is 8.1.113. So that's the version I'm going to install. And I did actually just shorten these commands. <laughs> it's quite a big page. So I made it sort of a paste bin. So this is the commands that you need uh, for Ubuntu server at least. And over here, Maybe hard to see, but here it says the this is the script that you download, and you need a special script for the special special version you need. So you can copy these commands, but you need to edit the version uh, of the script. Same thing here with the bash. When you start the script, you need to change that. But I put these links in the video description. So I have a Ubuntu server 2204 installed on an old old laptop that I have for testing. So you connect to it with uh, from Windows. I'm on Windows 11 here. So Power Shell. Just like search for Power. <laughs> and yeah, let's see if I can zoom in text a little bit better maybe um, and change the size like this so what to do next is that you need to type this command I've done this before so first SSH space and then the username on the server at and then the IP number to the server so you need to log in and the first time you log in you will get sort of a message you should sort of accept the SSH or whatever, and you type yes. But I already done already done that, so I just type the password here, and the password is of course set by you when you installed the Ubuntu server. And then now we're logged into the server. Uh, can clear this. And the first command we need to do is sudo space dash i. And then type the password. So now we are actually root, login as root on the server. Now we're going to copy and paste stuff from that paste bin <laughs> thing. The first command is to install some certificates. So yeah, let's do that. Refreshing. Yeah. And then we're going to download the installation script. So we do that. This wget. And remember to uh, Change the version number here, the 
depending on the version you are installing. Uh, I'm installing this one, the 8.1 for now, in this video. Just enter and download it. Then we're going to actually start the script. We do that with bash and the name of the script. And I have this extra dash dash skip here. So I don't have to manually enter stuff. So it will be completely automatic. So just press enter here. And this is the installation script. And this will be completely automatic. So you don't have to do anything. So it's, uh, yeah, doing it things by itself. So it's going to install things like Java and whatnot, Get tools and yeah. So it's going to install a bunch of things and I will, this will take a couple of minutes. So I will just uh, pause here and get back, get back when I'm done. Okay, so when you get this prompt again, it's done and saying it's installed success successfully and also it gives you the IP address. And it's important that you type the S here for secure, the HTTPS, otherwise you can't access the website. Um, so the only thing you need to do here is just type exit and exit again. Now you are logged out from the server, the Linux server, and now you can close this. And now we need to go to the uh, web, the website. So you type all this with the port 8443. And you get this page, warnings, and you click advanced here, and then proceed to this. And you get this uh, sort of a final setup. Uh, you can name the server. I, I just use the default here. Country, region, I'm not in the United States, so I'm actually going to change this. Uh, there we have Sweden, <laughs> that was quick. Agree. And then next. And here you can sign in to your U Ubiquity, Ubiquity <laughs> account. Uh, and you need to have an account on their website, but I'm not going to use that. It doesn't work for me here. So instead I just click down here at the bottom, create UI, UI account. Well, no, I actually don't because I'm going to click advanced. And over here in this pop-up window, you press skip and you get this instead. So you can create a local account. Uh, so let's see. Just going to paste some, some things in here. Uh, this and that. I'm going to confirm password and then I'm going to type email. I'm not going to show you that. So I'm going to pause here. And then it's going to set up the server and then you're logged in. So yeah, it's pretty quick, 10 minutes. Uh, of course, you can um, do a bunch of settings here. Topology, it's very bright. <laughs> Display options. Uh, yeah, you see my switch there. Status. Yeah, you can uh, do a lot of stuff. So here's my switch that I have. And of course, this should be sort of a, let's see, you can do it here, settings. Uh, I can do anything here. Okay. This is the Wi-Fi stuff. There is a dark mode somewhere. But this is 
we fix the how you install it. So yeah, that's it for now. <laughs>